Hey Mace participants, this is Dr. Glaze. I'm here to tell you about the next competition in this year's series, and it's the Marble Roller Coaster Design. The objective of this particular competition is to build a working roller coaster with the largest number of hills, loop-de-loops, or curves. You're going to receive two sheets of poster board paper. Hopefully you have scissors, and we'll give you some masking tape, and we'll give you marble if you need it. We want you to make a freestanding roller coaster. That means that you may not tape it to a wall. You're not going to hold it down with your hands. When this roller coaster functions, it needs to function without you touching it at all. The base is going to be a poster board itself, which is why we give you two. You can use one poster board to make the tracks with, and you can use another one to paste it on, or if you want to use more than one poster board to make tracks, whatever's left over of the second one, you're going to make into the base. We're going to give you points for height, points for curves, points for hills, and points for loop-de-loops. Here's an example of a prototype that we made at our house. And if you could look at that closely, you'd notice that this is a scenario where we used a little bit more track than would one poster board would allow us. And so what was left, we had to turn into the base. So the base here is actually smaller than an entire poster board. And here's how the rules would be assessed for this particular prototype. The height from the base where the marble comes out to the highest point at which the marble would rest on the track was 22 and a half inches. So every four inches is one point. That gives us five points. And you might be asking, well, can't you just round that or can you give partial points? No, we're not going to do that this time. We're not going to do partial points. And in this scenario, you would stay at five points unless you went up to the next metered mark, which would be 24 inches. So this is worth five points until it becomes six points at 24 inches. This doesn't have any hills in it, meaning there's no place where it visibly goes up and then down. And so there are no points for that. There are a series of 180 degree turns, however. And if the marble started right back here, it takes a 180 degree curve to this point. And so I would count all those. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, 180 degree turns. So that gives me 10 points. I didn't make any loop-de-loops for this one. So to sum those points up, that would be 15 points, assuming that it works. Here's the submission criteria. We want you to give us a photo that clearly displays the height from the ground to the bottom of the marble at the starting point, and submit photos to let us see your components. If it takes you know more than one photo to show us all the curves and loop-de-loops, then great, submit more than one. And we also want to see a video displaying your roller coaster in action from beginning to end. You'll notice that there's no time criteria on this one. In other words, we're not telling you you have to build this one in an hour or a half hour. We just want you to make something that you're proud of and something that works. So with that in mind, best of wishes to you and good luck.